Hey, didn't think I'd ever see another face again. How are you? Me? Well, I've lived a hundred days out here in the Badlands. It's been something. Dry, dangerous, and orange. And you're about to see it all. Let me take you back to day number one. If you'd like to embark on this warm colored journey yourself, all you need is a basic version of Minecraft. I set the world type to single biome and put the only biome as Badlands. And that's it. Load up the world and start your suffering. The Badlands is a rare biome in Minecraft. I bet some of you have never even been there. It's pretty much a desert, but one of the things that's going to make this really hard is no villages spawn, so I'm all on my own. Like most men, my first step this morning was to get wood. Hold on, hold on. Gotta give everyone a chance to quote me on that one so they can write it down in the comments and get a bunch of likes. You done? Still writing? Not a fast typer, are ya? Because there's no trees in the Badlands, the only place to get wood are these mine shafts. They're actually filled with loot and poisonous spiders. So much loot, on day one, I'm kinda bursting at the seams. But I have no food, and I'm already getting hungry. My plan was to find some water and kill fish, but apparently in the Badlands, fish don't spawn. Fish spawn if you fish them, but it's already getting dark, so I'm gonna eat through my golden apple supply. I'm gonna be sleeping in this hole night one, but it's the Badlands, what did you expect? My bed is made of spider webs, which is the most Badlands thing I've ever heard. And on day one, I could already tell that this was gonna be a fun one. For you, not me. Ah, day two, and starvation is already imminent. I've got a little food, but it won't last long. I need dirt or I'm gonna die. And because this is the Badlands, dirt is rare. I got a little more iron out of the cave, but I'm naked and really shouldn't stay down here very long. Got a little beet farm set up. It's the only food I have, and it's like the worst food in the game. I was so hungry I tried to eat a spider eye. That was a big mistake. I really don't think I've ever died to starvation in Minecraft, but this playthrough might be the first. I'm already low on health. Soon I won't even be able to sprint. If this food doesn't grow, I'm gonna die. But in the morning, I looked at my farm and realized it's not even sustainable. Even if these crops grow, I'm gonna have to eat them or die, and then I won't have any more crops. So I figured the only way I was gonna live was by finding more stuff. This world is packed full of loot. See, found a ruined nether portal within like a minute. Shortly after, went to a mine shaft, and this chest contained bread and glowberries. Oh yeah. Went on to get more golden apples, more bread. I'm not gonna die today. On my way back home, if you could call it that, with 11 bread in my inventory, feeling a little better. However, I'm already noticing a problem. While I was gone, my crops didn't grow. So I decided tomorrow I'm gonna pack up and go back to the spawn chunks. I'm really gonna miss this little hole in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Morning of day four, I put all of my goodies in my inventory and just ran back to zero zero. I marked it with a gold block and this is where I'll build my land. So for all of the people out there that have girlfriends and go outside, I'm gonna teach you what a spawn chunk is. This is zero zero, where I spawned, the spawn chunks. And in Minecraft, the spawn chunks are always loaded. So if I set up some crops out here and go on an adventure, they'll still grow even though I'm far away. And food seems like my biggest issue right now, besides my choice of roofing block. At least I've got a place to live out here in California. I I mean the Badlands. Before setting up an actual farm, I had to make my roof not dirt. It was bothering me. For the most part, my house will just be dug into the rock. It's easier this way. Kinda feels a little Badlandsy too. I'm getting in the spirit. I want my house to look like it belongs. I'm gonna try to use blocks only from the Badlands. Then I set up a humble beet farm. Hopefully I find something else so I never have to eat them. At night, I stayed in my house, waiting for the voices to go away so I could sleep. Day six, I put up a wall. It's a small one, but it already makes me feel better. There's a giant ravine by my house, so I went down in it to go get some iron. You know, it did look like a nice place to set up a glowberry farm. I'll do anything to not eat beets. Put a few up. I really hope they grow because I ate the rest. I got some melons too, like your dad. Gotta say though, as much as I've trashed beets, seeing my first crop felt good. Now that I've set up all that, it's time to do some light exploring of the area. And wow, it's more Badlands. I kind of just needed more wood and this is the only way to get it. It's already annoying and doesn't stop being annoying. Wait, do you hear them? In the distance. It's the nerds. Yes, they're typing right now. They're telling me how I can better get wood in the Badlands. I, I hear them. Listen, if I wanted to know how to better get wood, I would ask. You know who. Anyway, got back home unscathed. Sand, sweet sand. My food's set up, sure, but I'm still naked, so I've got to go find some iron for armor. Problem is, I'm naked, and this is hardcore Minecraft. If I'm not careful, something could kill me. Hardly found any iron. Enough to make a new pickaxe to go try to find more iron. But then I messed up big time. I wanted to make a crafting table and made 17. Wood is hard to come by and not renewable. That was a giant mistake. Here's a good thing. Day nine, I found plenty of iron. I just had to go a little bit more in the cave. It was a bit treacherous doing all of this with just a golden helmet, but I'm a grown man playing a block game. I was fine. I can't believe I'm gonna stoop this low. I'm eating beet soup. <laughs> this right here, what you're witnessing, this 
is rock bottom. All right, now I feel a little better. At least I got some iron armor and I love how it looks with my skin. <gasps> a melon! Yes! Melons are terrible food too, but at least they're not beets. I also planted pumpkins, but forgot that without eggs I can't make pumpkin pie, so those are kind of useless. But look at this. I have windows. And a great fear of the outside. Day 11, I finally fixed the melon farm, so it's all melons. I hate you pumpkins. And yes, it's because you're orange. Then I used more of my valuable and super rare dirt to expand the melon farm. That night, I fished. Because yes, I am that hungry. Man, who would have thought food would be an issue in the desert? Hey, look at that. Some pillagers showed up day 12. There was no banner guy, so we kind of just stared at each other. My tummy's grumbling. There's no need to fight here. Then I did more fishing, because I literally have no food. Yeah, I'm out. I eat when I'm bored. Every day I eat just enough to keep me alive and replant the rest. But I think I've set it up to the point now where you just give me a few more days, I'll be eating good. Well, not good melons and beets, but I won't be starving. I also set up a mine at night so when I get more food I can start exploring. And you know what? I've got seven fish in my inventory that exploration starts today. I need iron, I need coal, and I need diamonds. This iron sword is nothing. Got lucky though, one of the zombies that I was fighting in the caves dropped a carrot. That's some good food for me. Is it a little gross that I'm gonna be eating zombie carrots? I mean maybe, but you know what? It's food. Today was just a big day of farming. I think I'm finally at the point where I'm feeling good about my food. I will say Melons do require a lot of chewing. I got beet soup, melons, and fish. The weirdest lunch in the world. But now I feel much better about exploring. I can actually heal if I get attacked. There seems to be a lot of these ruined portals out in the Badlands. This one had a gold sword with mending. That's kind of cool. A gold sword is worse than iron, but at least it won't break. It was nice to be out in the world. I never even went home. You know, I was thinking to myself that all this gold will make really nice golden carrots. I'm grateful for the melons, don't get me wrong, but I'm already kind of sick of them. My inventory was super full, so I pedaled back home that night and saw a zombie villager. I didn't even think about that until now. After putting my stuff away, I went straight to the mines. If I want to make zombie villagers villagers, I need to go to work. Got myself enough iron for an anvil. Step one, done. Day 19, I set up some buildings where I'd trap zombie villagers. I set up two of them. That's all I'll need, and I'll get a full village. But then I looked at my land and realized that I'm missing something far more important than diamonds, villagers, or anything. It's time to build the wall. My land is very bumpy, which made walling very hard. I'm also making the wall out of red sandstone, which looks nice, but is highly inefficient. I need four times as many blocks. But look at this. Look at this danger. Can't believe it's taken me 20 days to set up this wall in the first place. Using red sandstone is a pain, being not level is another. I'm eating more sand than you when you were three. I'm gonna wreck all of my tools just building this wall. It does not help that I buried my house in the terracotta. This wall and my whole land is gonna have some funky sections. It's also very orange. You think I'd be used to it by now, but I'm definitely not. One day, I'll change it, I promise. So the top section's now flat only because I resorted to using terracotta and sand. But thanks to my farm being lower, I still have quite a lot of work to do. This is what I came up with. Looks a little... I don't know. I don't think that would have looked good unless I put stairs the whole way, so I coped and put down some terracotta. That's a little better, but I still don't like it. I'm at the point where I don't really care what it looks like, I just want it to be safe. And now it is. Nothing safer than a big flat land with a wall. But there's nothing safe about an eight wide staircase with no wall. I've gotta fix this. The only way to make it safe is to make it look not good. I think I'm going to do it. Oh, uh, yeah, it's bad. That's real bad, but you know what? In the name of safety, it's fine. Put up some lights too, just so nothing will spawn here and blow it up. Though with how it all looks, I wouldn't think that'd be a bad thing. I'm really lucky there's no homeowners association or I'd be paying some fees and angering Karens with this land. I'll make it look good one day, I promise. Remember, I'm still eating beets. With my land secure, now I'm working on getting a zombie villager. I have a plan and the first step is build a bridge to the nearby mountains. I know it's low tech, but my plan is to stand up here and just look for zombie villagers. Eventually, one will spawn. None tonight, but I'm hopeful. In my heart, I know this plan will work. Last night, I saw this ruined portal and went to it in the morning. The chest was pretty bad, but I'll always take some gold. But I could see a spawner that was exposed to the air. That's pretty rare. I'm gonna check that out. And it's a spider spawner, which is pretty much the best one I could hope for. In the Badlands, killing spiders is the only way to get wool, so I can always come here if I need some. I didn't stay out day 26, because day 25, I found a potato, so you know I had to farm those. I got a pretty lush crop already, but it doesn't hurt to have more. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't hurt to have more iron either. I've already got to go back in the caves for more. It was kind of uneasy down here with just a gold sword. It's not the best. Got a bunch of iron, but realized I have no coal. 
Not one piece. Back into the mines, but you know, it's Minecraft, so I shouldn't complain. Got that purple stuff. I'm in love. Gonna fill my backpack up. I don't know how I didn't think of using a spyglass before this. Didn't do anything like that tonight. Was having too much fun. Also, oh, sure. <laughs> takes me about an hour to. I didn't do much during the day. I was excited to get back to villager hunting. It's dangerous work. Here I was attacked by several skeletons. Yeah, they got me pretty low, but my running away skills and golden apples saved me. But after running down the mountain and collecting myself, I saw it. A zombie villager. The plan was to have it chase me, which worked fine. My heart was racing until I got him in the compound. A lot was riding on this guy. Trapped him in the hut and named him Aiden. Now I just need one more. And the next morning, my potatoes started to come in. It's been a great couple of days. But let's all be honest honest. Who needs potatoes when you can make golden carrots? Oh yeah. 64 golden carrots should last me a while. I'm just remembering when I had nothing to eat. I'm feeling blessed. But I came fairly close to dying last night, so I've got to set up something up here for villager hunting. It's nothing too ornate, just a watchtower, but this should keep me miles more safe. At least I have a base to run back to. Yeah, nothing really out there tonight, but I did feel much safer. Of course, since I've got nothing better to do, I was back at it the next night and saw a zombie villager. But he was kind of far away and I had to fight my way to him. Yeah, by the time I got over there, he had despawned. Oh well. I was pretty confident I'd get one though. The rate of spawning has been nice. Yep, just like that. Night 32, saw myself a zombie villager. I got over there fast and luckily it didn't despawn. But I could tell Minecraft did not want me having this thing. Every monster in the game was trying to kill me. I was attacked by two invisible spiders. Two! It was anything but smooth. I fell off the bridge on the way back home. And when I got back home, the zombie was followed by a ton of his friends. Regardless, I trapped my second zombie villager. This is huge. Welcome to the family, Hunter. Now I can finally sleep! All right, now I've got two zombie villagers, which is nice, but totally useless unless I can cure them. And I can't do that unless I go to the nether, so I built a portal. I can go to the nether, and here's my reasoning. This is 100 days in the Minecraft Badlands, and the nether is definitely a bad land, right? My logic is flawless. Come on, I'll let you ponder that one for a bit while I play an advertisement. All I did today in the nether was set up where the portal dumps me out, but pretty soon I'll conquer it. If you've ever watched my videos before, you know that I don't explore the nether. I tunnel through it. I wouldn't do it if it didn't work. After a day of tunneling, I found a nether fortress. Look at that. I was feeling real uneasy in this fortress, so I killed myself a single blaze, got a blaze rod, and ran away. It wasn't until I got home that I realized I needed two. But I ain't going right back in the nether two days in a row. My little heart can't take it. Fun fact, you can get the potion brewing achievement with just a bottle of water. I just farmed. I know pretty soon I'll need all of this produce for money. On day 36, with my soul refreshed, I went back to the nether. Very early on, got myself a wither skeleton skull as well as that blaze rod. Very lucky. Immediately got back home and started the curing process. Apples for Aiden. Apples for Hunter. While they were changing, I set up a better room for them. They're gonna start breeding as soon as they can. Then I broke the wall between them, and they locked eyes so fast. They slept on opposite ends the first night, but I guarantee they'll get very familiar very quickly. Here are some beets. Now breed! Kinda just worked on the outside while I was waiting waiting for the child. They didn't want to make a baby until I ripped the roof off, so I probably have to change some of this design. Ah, welcome to the world, Brantley. Your first shift starts in two days when you grow up. Day 38, I was just grabbing some cobble because I need it when I heard some zombie moaning. Wow. Another one, right underneath my base. That is lucky. No, Creeper, you're not getting adopted. No one loves you. It wasn't until I got up in my house that I realized I had no plan for this guy. It's daytime, he'll burn out there. So I put up a wall. I don't know any problem that can't be solved with a cobblestone wall. I had no plan for this one's name. Had to bring up most hated baby names on Google real quick. Went to go name it, and it broke down the door. Thankfully, it didn't get too far. All right, no more funny business, Jackson. And now he's shaking because he knows his parent named him Jackson. Hey buddy, let's make some money. Well, first I gotta move him in there. I know I'm gonna end up hitting him. Ultimately, my method was a little unorthodox, but now Jackson's working for me. And now that I've got four villagers in there, I've gotta expand this thing, because I know I want more. I worked all night while the kids slept, because I'm a good dad. Still need more stuff though, had to go out for spiders day 40. I need beds for more children, and the only way to get wool is spiders. So I sat in the dark, waiting. Just waiting for spiders. All right, now I should be ready to make some money. Brentley's gonna be the toolsmith because he's not cured, while the other three will all be cartographers because they're better for the money. Money's pretty good with this sugar cane, but it could be much better. So today I'm gonna try to set up an automatic farm. I just carved it straight into the terracotta right by my manual sugar cane farm. It worked pretty good. The farm is definitely kind of discount. I didn't take the time to mine all the quartz to put observers all the way across. I also don't have enough iron and redstone for a full row of pistons, but you know what else? 
I'll take anything automatic at this point. It's ugly and not finished, but it should work. Just kidding, it did not work. I froze this hopper because I put a redstone torch too close to it. Okay, now it's working, and I think I really mean it this time. Hey, I already got a few sugar cane. Almost none, but it's something. I would have to make the farm very massive to beat manual farming, so I'm working on that as well. I'm also working on getting more villagers. Despite all the beds I've given them, they're not breeding. So I put all the beds down one level. Hopefully that gets the juices flowing. Oh yeah, got a new baby. Named it Bleep. Please don't name your children that. I would feel so bad. After selling all the paper that I had to Aiden, Jackson, and Hunter, I realized that I could also probably sell them glass. And hey, Brentley just sold me my first diamond shovel. If anything, sand is much more profitable. I should have been working on this for a long time. Especially with my nether access, fuel is not an issue. I can always use lava. So now I'm cooking up money, growing money. I got all kinds of money. Also super lucky here. In all of my journeys and adventures, I found three enchanted books. That's enough to make a lectern. And without this, I wouldn't have been able to. That opens me up to librarians, enchanting rooms, everything. All in the Badlands. Day 47, Bleep the Librarian will sell Fortune 2 and bookshelves. That's a good trade. I'll take it. Fortune is basically the best enchantment in the game. And combined with Brentley's new diamond pick, I'm going to be rich. I'm going in for diamonds. I'm sick of not having diamond armor and I'm gonna find some with these night vision potions. All you need is some golden carrots and you can make probably one of the best potions for mining. Look at that, already found some diamonds. Got enough for diamond stuff and put it all on down in the cave. Why wait, it's dangerous down here. Might as well be protected. But now that I've got diamond armor, it's time to enchant it. I was pretty unlucky today, gambled on my pants and lost. Some good news though, I enchanted my bow and got a Fletcher, so I'll never run out of arrows. I named him Xander and this one Mac. I like that one. Mac will be a farmer, he'll sell me golden carrots. And I guess poison stew. Come on, bro. Farmers are pretty easy to level if you've got money, so I was buying golden carrots by the end of the day. You know, I never thought I would come this far in the Badlands. I'm only 50 days in with diamond armor and a village. Just want to get a few more enchantments before I fight that dragon. I'd like to get my hands on some feather falling. I guess I'd like to get my feet in some feather falling, but you know what I mean. Yeah, and I know I just got this auto sugarcane farm done, but glass is just so much better. So I shoveled more sand. With a bit more strength, I went back to the nether. I'm feeling better down here. I'm here for ender pearls and blaze rods, you know, the usual. Acquired both and went home. Got some XP too, which was nice. Just prepped day 53. I've got full diamond armor and fire potions, so I'm feeling invincible. Yeah, no time like the present with all that stuff I figured it was a good time to go try to find the ender dragon one thing I'll say about the badlands is I underestimated how much water there would be here it's not very fruitful but it does help travel going by boats very efficient by the end of the day I had found where the fortress was just above it I haven't dug down but it's not that far just a boat right away so now I just got to dig down and find it sometimes this can be a huge pain while digging I found a vein of diamonds and it had 22 of them in there thanks to my fortune pickaxe I kept digging trying to find the stronghold but no luck today, besides 22 diamonds. I had to go back home, I ran out of wood for ladders. This is probably the first time I exploited the nether, but like I said, I needed that wood. Then set out back for the stronghold. And I found it in the same day. Totally forgot to stop recording until I found the end portal. It's an extra long day, I was focused. Set up another portal and hopefully my trip back shouldn't be as tough. Took me all day to get back home because my exit tunnel was right beneath the ocean. It was all just a mess and I did not want to drown. Portal's done, that wasn't hard. And all day 59, I was prepping for the dragon fight. You've got to be sure. Here I'm asking myself why I'm even fighting the dragon in a Badlands playthrough, and the answer is because I can. Gotta say, once you've killed the dragon like five or ten times, it's really not that hard. People do it naked with beds. I'm also just trying to get through this because for whatever reason, these days don't have sound. I can't believe I've been doing this full time for years now, and I still do this. Anyway, off to the end, I found a very close end ship. I have no reasoning at all why I can loot all of this, but I just wanted it, so I have it. Sound's back on. I watched the previous day's footage and realized there wasn't any. Normally the ender dragon's pretty loud. Anyway, today was mostly just putting my things away and checking out my brand new shulker boxes. I also used the dragon levels for some serious enchanting. Spent some time day 62 giving the villagers more room, but not too much. That night I went out killing creepers. I need gunpowder for rockets so I can actually fly. Wasn't recording for day 63. Here's day 64 where I'm making a bedroom. I actually started expanding the entire home yesterday. I'm sick of sleeping in my storage. There comes a time in every Minecraft playthrough where you 
you upgrade to some luxury living, and that day is today. I would, however, like to keep it all Badland themed. I'm trying to use only blocks that I found in the Badlands, so that means lots of terracotta. And right as the day was about to end, I got myself a mending librarian. That's good. I didn't want to use this elytra until it had mending. Still just working on the house, it's much bigger and there's a lot of tiling. I mean, look at me, I've gone from studio to two bedroom. I will say, being able to fly, super nice. If I ever need terracotta, it's one short trip away. Half the reason I'm even doing this house expansion is my storage really needed it. Definitely feels nice going from three chests in the storage to 20. There's definitely still more to do, but at least now the shape is done. I likely would have been done a long time ago if every room wasn't trimmed out, but I like it that way. I've got the terracotta, might as well use it. The back of the house is definitely a little bit weird, and I have no idea how to fix it, so for now, it's just gonna stay. That night, I gave Tors a tour. She was looking over my shoulder. She liked it. She really liked all the names I picked out for the villagers. Speaking of naming villagers, day 68, I was actually live, giving fans in the stream a sneak peek. And I let them name my last two villagers. Let's see what they pick. The mending librarian can be mud. Quandale Dingle. <laughs> Jeff. Ah, Jeff. I like Jeff. All right, Jeff with a G. Jeff. Jeff. All right, so you got Jeff, Xander, Bleep, Mud, Jackson, Mac, and Aiden. That's all of them. Hunter. Don't forget Hunter. It's day 69. I know my house is under construction, but I at least gotta get that bedroom done. I know I did the tile floor, but putting my bed straight on it just didn't feel good. So I'm gonna try to put the bed in the ground, and I gotta say, setting the tile up correctly here was pretty tough. Got it looking nice, and the bed in the ground. I'm happy with that. Last step is roofing. I know the texture of the sandstone doesn't look great, but I'm gonna put terracotta on it. Tell you the truth, I don't think this house will ever be done. It was built in such a weird way, I'm gonna be in a constant state of renovation. But on day seven, it's got four walls and a roof, so it's legally a house. Yeah, it's a little funky looking, but that's what I get for only using blocks from the Badlands. House is done, yeah, but it needs some of those finer touches, so today I'm putting in a super smelter. And with my potion brewing stand, this is now a very useful corner. Not much going on day 72, mostly profits. I need money before my diamond armor breaks. Got a looting library in day 73 and decided to go in on it. It was only looting one, so I had to combine a bunch of books together, and my anvil broke. Ugh. And I used all my iron building the auto smelter so I can't make a new one. So I guess now I'm getting more iron. I should do well with my fortune pick. Ah, easy dude. Like taking candy from a baby. And you should take candy from babies. They'll choke and die. Put looting three and mending for good measure on my diamond sword. That feels nice. After that, I was feeling some adventure. So I flew around my immediate area. I don't really need loot. What I was looking for mostly was pillagers. I know they can spawn in the Badlands and it's already happened in this video before. I'd like to get myself a totem of dying and I don't mind putting my villagers at risk for it. There is no day 76. That's it. That's all I have to say. I've got looting three on my sword, so it really shouldn't take me that long to get some wither skeleton skulls. That is until here when I slashed a piglin. Uh-oh. They don't even know why they're mad. I hate cancel culture. After some good PR, I was back in the fortress doing exactly what I got canceled for. I only needed to get two skulls, and right here I got them. But on my way out, I looted the third. That's nice. I can use it for a trophy. Getting more villagers, day 79, and this time, not for trading. Running out of iron the other day is kind of stuck with me. So right now, I'm going to try to build an iron farm. I just realized that I have everything I need right now to build it. Basic structure is now done, just gotta get everyone in there. First thing I did was put the zombie in the middle. That was not hard. Went out for some wood day 80 for the iron farm, checked this chest and found a god apple. That's awesome. But of course, the most important ingredient in every iron farm is children. I will not name them. That will just make me attached. With a little shoving, got all three of them in. Once they grow up, this iron farm will be functional. No, I, you know, I don't know where your kids went. It's, it's weird. They went missing. Missing? Wow! I could have finished up this iron farm real quick, but I still wanted to match the Badland theme. That just meant shoveling a bunch of sand. It took a while. But as you can see, now golems are spawning. It just needs a kill pit and collection, and it'll be done. Even at the time, though, I knew it wouldn't be done. There's always some tinkering with an iron farm. There's always something somewhere that you don't see, and this farm was no different. Initially, it started working great, if not a little bit slow. But then it just stopped working. This has happened to me before, pretty much every time I build an iron farm. The phantoms were mocking me. Please, please don't think less of me for what I'm about to say. This will be very troubling for a lot of you. And I, I just, I, it's, it's hard to say, it really is. I know it's very ungamer of me, but I had to shower and figured this was a good time to let my iron farm run. I know, I, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I hope in time you can forgive me for this. 
Please, just have it in your heart. After a whole day of Minecraft, I kind of expected more iron than that. It must be broken somewhere. So day 84, I wanted to take a better look at the iron farm, so I decided to fish right by it. And I was midway through fishing when something caught my eye. Do you see it? I'll give you a second. Take a look. Why is there a golem at the bottom of the ocean? I really thought building the whole farm over a body of water would prevent spawning, but I guess not. So I made some water breathing potions and tried to carve up the seabed. I really hope this works. From what I can tell, that fixed it. Iron farm done, and only one hiccup. Chasing a cat today, I've got some extra fish and would like one. But while chasing the cat, I saw what actually happened to the iron farm. Did you catch it? I'll show you. Hold on. Get it. You can barely see it, but that golem spawned on the outside. Well, that's an easy fix. Made a mental note of that for all future iron farms I make. I named the cat Pinkle for his pink nose. I spent all of day 86 mining up terracotta. Gray terracotta. Can you guess what for? If you've ever watched my videos before, the obvious answer was giant statue of myself. I'm putting the thing right where my watchtower was. It's a nice spot that overlooks my entire land. I also haven't used the watchtower since I got zombie villagers, so it can in one day, I got nearly done, just the head left. I'm in the Badlands, so I only wanted to use terracotta. I thought it was fitting. And because of that, it's gonna look a little bit different than what you're probably expecting, but I like it. It's the Badlands statue. First off, I gotta say, the placement, perfect. I just love how it's on top of that mountain. I had to do white eyes because I had no access to black terracotta, and I kinda like it. It's a little Harrowbriny, though. But at night, oh... Oh yeah, that is a statue. Even with that done, there's a few more things I want to complete before fighting the wither and ending this video. I'd like to get some mending gear even though I don't really need it. But did I really need that big statue? Yeah. So it was back in the mines looking for XP while glass cooked on the surface. When I came out of the mine, I found a black cat on my land. You know I had to tame him. I found it at midnight, so that's what I named it. Still had to wait for more glass to cook, so I dug the hole where I'm gonna fight the wither day 90. There's no way I'm fighting him on the surface. I don't have many nice things. I can't have the wither messing him up. Day 91, first thing I did was get naked. Hey yo, villagers, what's up? You get more XP this way. I'm not being weird. Not any more than usual. After grabbing some levels, I was finally able to get feather falling on my boots. Feather falling three, but I'll take it. Then I put mending on most of my other stuff. It was a good day. Now I'll say, I look great, but my land, well, it does not. So I'm gonna spend a few days kind of changing stuff up around here. The first thing I did was lay out where my beacon will go. Then I ripped up my entire lawn. It was mixed terracotta and sand and was way too orange. That's a little weird, but it won't be like this for long. I don't have much to work with out here, but what I do have plenty of is red, orange, and yellow terracotta. So that's what I used in this pattern over and over and over again. I'm also gonna be fixing up my wall. There's no need to have this angle here. Of course, that's gonna mean more work, but it'll look good in the end. During this whole video, I really tried to keep the Badlands vibe inside of my base, and I think this just adds to that. Sure, I could have used blocks from the Deep Slate or Nether or End to kind of spice things up a bit, but I think the full Badlands look is really nice. It's not even done, and I already love it. That's the sign of a good build. I decided to go with a border of white terracotta to break up my base and the rest of the orange landscape. I think it worked very well. You can definitely tell tell exactly where the wilderness ends and my world begins. But that got me looking at the back of my house, and I know I don't have too much time left but I've got to change this. And that's going to be tough because a lot of my house is buried within the terracotta. I don't blame myself for this decision. It was the easiest at the time. I set up my house on like day five. My plan for now is to square this all up and make this kind of like a backyard. There won't be anything in it, but it'll look nicer. Oh, that's definitely going to mean moving some things, but you know what? I do need a basement. Dug down a quick basement today, and I really like how the natural terracotta is down here. The gray and white is natural, but it looks like something you would design. I'm going to keep that throughout. Can't believe I didn't do this before. And after some quick work, everything in my basement is back where it should be. Now I just gotta fix the top of the house. I really shouldn't be ripping out all the walls with three days left, but whatever, here I am. Got everything pretty much back in and then put the same terracotta lawn in the backyard. Done with that. Like I said, nothing back here, but it does look a little better. Then I just needed a few more finishing touches here and there to undig my house. The last step was lights. It doesn't matter how good your house looks if it all gets blown up by creepers. I had no idea what to expect living 100 days in the Badlands, but I definitely didn't think I'd have anything like this. But it might end now. I'm fighting the wither. I fought the wither a bunch of times before, so I wasn't too worried, though I was a little unsettled that I don't have milk. However, fighting them in a hole like this at bedrock takes most of the stress out. In just a few minutes, I had slayed the wither. That's a free beacon. I really thought my iron farm would be better than it was, so I don't have enough for a full beacon, but it'll work. I went with speed and made the beam red, because it's the only dye I can get. Then while looking at my land, I realized I had no entrance to my farm, so I made one real quick. And after building it, had to move the entire thing, because the fence gate was wonky. I worked 
through the night to the sunrise of day 100, and everything was finally perfect. I had done everything I wanted to, so I just took nice shots of my land. Look at that. Ooh. I gotta say, I had more fun than I thought I would in the Badlands. The beginning was definitely a struggle, but once I got through that, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, the villagers definitely came in clutch. Thanks, guys. Sorry about your names. In the end, I didn't have much. You're basically looking at it now, but it was a Badlands playthrough. I'm happy with it. If you'd like to take a look at everything I've built, there's a world download link down in the description. You can download the world and see all of my builds. Job only. And the last thing I'll do is thank all of my notable members that you see on screen right now. If you'd like to get a credit in the end of all of my videos, click the join button on my channel to become a notable member today. Thank you, all of you. You're notable. But anyway, that's it. See you in the next 100 days. It's coming out very soon. Stay notable. Bye-bye.